Hey guys, Kevin here. What I've got here is another image. This is someone who has set up this image for RetroPie. It's from a guy called Mr. Harius. I'll link to his YouTube channel. Now this is quite an impressive build. It's only 32 gigabytes, um, but it's, it's giving you the tools to build upon it. So what do you get in this build? You get, if you look at it, a total of 2,500 games. So he hasn't, um, in the previous one that I showed you, the previous setup that I've got in this micro SD card, I've got like all the NES games, all the, you know, every system has got pretty much the whole collection. But this one is a little bit different. You can see he's got hacks. These are games that have been hacked by, um, you know, Amy Rose and Son Sonic the Hedgehog and things like that. Um, I didn't mean to go in that, but I've just went in. Um, now, it's got a lot of cool things in it. The, the first thing you probably saw there was that you can preview the game before you play it. And there's lots of tools like this that you can get for RetroPie where you can develop video previews and things like that. This one has got a, a video overlay over, you know, the screen. And they've put it in like a 4-3, you know, TV in the middle so that you can see how it works. So this is a hacked game. I've not played this yet, actually. Let's get Amy. I'm not wanting to play this, actually. I want to show you the image, the setup. So these are the hacks. It's also got the NES Classic Edition. So all the NES Classic Edition games are there. And they've set up the Super Nintendo one as well. So if you can't get your hands on one of those, you can get it with this. All the games are listed there. So all 2,500 games. Favourites last played. Um, MAME games. All your arcade games. Now, the number, the, the sheer volume of systems on this is really good. And I, I I was looking for something like this where I can use it like a template to build what I want. And this is perhaps not like exactly what I want, but pretty much very close to it. Um, Neo Geo, Atari 2600, 5200, 7800, Atari Lynx. So you've got all the handheld consoles as well. You can see there's only a small selection of the games. But... You know, the person that set this up has pretty much chosen the best games. But it's pretty cool the way they've got this. You've got this overlay, you've got the video preview there, and you've got the ratings, the type of game, you've got players, genre, uh, platform, when you last played it, when the game was initially released, 1983, and there's a description of it. I mean, it's, it's really cool. I do want to add more games to this, but what's here already is pretty cool. Um, so you've got the... The Fam Famicom, and I, and from Japan, you've got the Famicom Disk System, Super Famicom, um, Nintendo NES, Super NES, Nintendo 64. He's actually put in quite a few Nintendo 64 games, which I like. Um, so, let's try this out. So, some people say that Nintendo 64 doesn't run great on the RetroPie 3, but... I don't think it's that bad. I do apologise, guys. I don't have a capture card yet to just show you the screen itself. I'm recording through my camera, as you can see. Um, but hopefully you can still see what this setup is like. So. Yeah, it is a little bit stuttery, this game. I put on another one and it looked okay. This one, the sound seems to be going all over the place. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but because of the mic facing this way and, you know, the monitor not having great speakers, I'm not sure if you can even hear the sound. Um, Yeah, the sound's all messed up. But I'll play it and just we'll see how it goes. It's more the sound than anything else. The graphics actually seem like Seem okay. Now, this could be a problem with the, the ROM or the emulator or something like that, but it probably has something to do with the power of the RetroPie. So, I'll come out of that. I'll just show you the other the other systems that are there. Um, Virtual Boy, PSX Satellite View for the Super Famicom. Um, Bandai Sufami Turbo. I don't even know what this was. I really don't. An Aladdin disc deck enhancer. Now, it's, the good thing is you've got a description down the bottom. Um, Technos. 
Game and Watch, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Nintendo DS is there. A couple of games there. Game Gear, the SG One Thousand, which is before the Master System. Um, Sega Mark III, Sega Master System, Sega Genesis, Sega Mega Drive, 32X, Sega CD, Sega Dreamcast, and you can actually go in and you can see, you know, the Rycast, which is the the emulator showing you like the the file system and all that kind of thing. So it's really good that you can do Dreamcast, PSP, PSP Minis, PlayStation. There's a couple of games there, Tomb Raider, etc. PC Engine, PC Engine CD-ROM, Super Graphics, Turbo Graphics 16, Turbo Graphics CD. I love how it shows you the picture of the console at the side as well. Vectrex, so very old system from the late 70s, early 80s. Neo Geo Pocket, Neo Geo Pocket Color, Wonder Swans. There's the normal one in the color. There's Amiga as well. I'd love to put some Amiga games onto this and you know get that working. Amiga CD32. One of my friends had that. CPC Amshard MSX. Got Spectrum in there. Daily Thompsons. Jet Set Willy, etc. Classic games. Um, no idea what that is. No idea. PC games. Uh, that's to go to the actual Raspberry Pi desktop. So it's quite cool you can do that. It's got Porsche, which doesn't seem of anything. It's got Cody there. So that here he's got hacked games, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy... Oh, these are all hacked games. Now, there's quite a few options here. You can... It's got a track mode. Now, that is something that I tried out. It didn't seem to work for me. Now, this is a, a different setup. It's a different presentation. The Team ZT installer. Now, this is something that I'd love to get working. It isn't working just now. I'm not sure why. But essentially, what this allows you to do is import games directly so you can start importing full ROM sets into into your system. Now that is really, really good. Now you can see there when you go to the arcade it says this is an eleven gigabyte zipped file. You will need about twenty five gigabytes of free space on your your storage. So that isn't working. I don't know if it's a server that isn't working, but whatever reason it's not working. Um this hasn't got all the games there, but you can see there's PlayStation 56 game set and later consoles obviously take up more, more room. Now, this isn't a complete list. There's other installers you can download, and this is what I need to look more into. These installers are, you know, I think it's a great idea that you just set up a basic install and then you just import everything. So I need to look into getting a, a better um, setup and a, a better installer that works. Now, another thing here, Raspberry Config. If I go in here, then now. Now, this is like a 31, 32 gigabyte image. But I'm actually using this on a 128 gigabyte card. So I've got 128 gigabytes of storage. But this the card is only set up to, you know, to be 32 gigabytes. So this is what you need to do. This is something that, you know, if you've got a RetroPie, this is a little tip for you all. This essentially thinks it's a 32 gigabyte system just now. What you need to do is come into Raspberry Config and go to Expand File System. And this will expand it to the full size of the SD card. And it makes it available. Um, there we go, select, is it working? So, it's been resized. So next time I reboot, it will be resized to the full image. So now I've got 128 gigabytes. Now I noticed this was a problem because, um, no, I don't need to reboot just now. I noticed this was a problem because when I went into the, the ZT installer, um, in fact, where is it? There's a, there's a part here. Um, there's a bit here that tells you information about about how much memory you've got, and might be in the installer area. When when I tried to set that up, or let's say a disk space, that was showing me like two gigabytes spare, even though I've got you know a huge amount of memory spare. It was showing you that I only had like two gigabytes. That's why I had to expand the file system there. Now it's now saying disk size. 29 gigabytes, use 27 gigabyte percent, 97 percent available space 921. Now, that shows that I still don't have the full amount, and the reason is quite simple. I didn't reboot there when it when I wanted to reboot. So, let's reboot and we'll see if that's worked. Now, this um, this whole setup though is pretty good, and uh, fair play to the guy who set this up. Really impressive. Please do check out his YouTube video. He explains 
in more great detail about how you set it up, how you configure it all, etc. But I'm quite impressed with what this can do. And doesn't have everything that I'm looking for, but it is helping me see what you can do with the RetroPie. There is a lot to learn with RetroPie. I mean, you can just get a basic install and set it up, but I'd like to learn a little bit more about how it all works so that I can set up everything the way that I want. As far as, you know, what systems I want, it would be good to get a couple of PlayStation games. I'd like some Dreamcast games and things like that. But what ideally I would like is every game up until like the mid 90s. So I'd like all the Atari systems, all the all the Amiga games, all the Spectrum games, all the Commodore 64 games, all the NES, SNES. Um, I'm not too bothered about Nintendo 64 and Dreamcast and that I don't want the full collection. I'd be happy just to pick and choose what games I want because I'm conscious of the fact that those later systems do take up a lot more room, especially with the uh, PlayStation games and things like that. But the PlayStation 1 has so many great games as well, you know, Metal Gear, there's a lot of um, role-playing games, all this that you can get on it. But for me, I'd like a, a great collection of MAME games from the 80s and 90s. I'd like a um, full collection of SNES and things like that. Now, if you looked at my previous setup that I used, which was on this one, this was 32 gigabytes as well, that probably had a lot more of the older systems that I want, but it was missing things like the Atari, ColecoVision, it was missing Spectrum, it was missing Commodore and Amiga and things like that. It was also missing this um, kind of really good looking setup where you've got the video previews and things like that, which is something that I think I really like because when you're with friends and all that, I think it's good because, um, you know, say, say you want to, like, let's play an old arcade game and I'm sitting with friends and, and then you see this and you're like, no, that looks bad. That looks bad. That looks bad. And then... Hey, this looks like fun. Why don't we play that? So I think the video preview thing is something that a lot of people would like. Um, sorry, that was Cody. Didn't mean to go in there. I just want to go back into this installer. Let's see if this disk space has worked. Yeah, so I like this video preview thing. I think it's good to do that. Um, and it helps you see, you know, what a game is like so that you're not wasting time going in and out of games. So it now says, I don't know if you can see it, disk space, 118 gigabytes used. 27, uh, 27 gigabytes and I've used 24%. Available space, 87 gigabytes. Now, that's quite good now. So it's good that I know how to do that with future builds because it means that I can put on an 8 or a 16 gigabyte RetroPie image and then just build it up from there and fill up my card in any way that I want. It's also worth remembering that you can set up RetroPie um, you know, in your own way and just install ROMs or use an installer and things like that. So... Yeah, this has been uh, what he's calling the Super Display 32 gigabyte attract mode image from Mr. Harius. So I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel and I'll leave a link to the, the information page on Arcade Punks and you can check that out. Thanks for watching, guys. I just wanted to give you all a preview of this because I think it's quite a cool image and it does highlight a lot of the things that you can do with the RetroPie. This is, in my opinion, quite a cool setup doesn't have everything that I want, but it's got a hell of a lot of good games on it. 2,500 games, and I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you get any comments, please do leave them below, and I'll speak to you all soon. Take care.